Hi, my name is Matthew Gerber with Tri-State Permacolon. We're a licensed precaster and distributor of the Permacolon family of products. And today we're on a job site in Craigville, Indiana. And we're gonna show you some tips and tricks. And ultimately our goal is to show you a better way to build while building your business. So let's talk a little bit more about the trench and the styrofoam and how kind of all that works. So we've got, a, we've got for energy code, we need to have two inch styrofoam that's 24 inches deep around the perimeter. Well, in post frame, that's, that's kind, of, kind of tricky, right? So again, we're, we talked about the trench that we put around the entire outside, but let's just show a little bit about the, the measurements of that trench. So it's gonna be probably a 10 inch trench and, and two of those inches are gonna be eaten up by your styrofoam. The other eight, eight inches, what we recommend is that you fill that with concrete. What that does is it does two things. It gives you a backing against your styrofoam, but then it also gives you this nice concrete grade beam around the entire outside of your slab. Because in post frame, most slabs, if you pour in concrete, are floating. So what this does is it doesn't give you a footer because you don't need a footer. Your, your perma column, your permanent foundation, is your foundation for your building. But what this does is this gives you the, the necessary thickness to the edge of your slab to help prevent it from floating in addition to the frost protection that your code may require. Okay, so obviously the columns are in the ground already, but what happened before this? Well, let's explain that. So what we do, this is five foot of concrete, and we require that, the permacolum requires that when you install a permacolum, you, you drill four feet into the ground and you set it four foot below grade. So what we did previously is we drilled our columns four foot in the ground, and then we trenched for our two foot insulated gray beam around the perimeter, we, we trenched then two foot right over top of those holes. Then we came back again and we drilled through the holes that had already been drilled to get all that loose dirt that came from the trench. And we pull that all out and now what you have is a four foot hole with a two foot trench around the outside perimeter. It works really slick whenever you're trying to do an insulated gray beam that might be required per code in your state. At Tri-State Permacom, our mission is to show you a better way to build while you're building your business.